So in Poland, more than a million of the 1.7 million refugees have come here. Behind me, you can see these people waiting. This is a basically a bus transfer point. These folks are all trying to get on a bus to somewhere else. Uh, we're about three or four miles over the border into Poland. Uh, it is very cold. It is uh, very sad here. There is a lot of desperation, especially on part of the mothers who are trying to keep their kids warm and basically figure out their next place where they will be safe. When we say goodbye, I, I feel it like forever. I can't. A third window for Ukrainian civilians to flee through humanitarian corridors failing with continued Russian shelling. Instead of humanitarian corridors, they can only make bloody ones. We will not forgive the shooting of unarmed people. Despite the deal being brokered by French President Emmanuel Macron and Russian President Vladimir Putin, Russian troops firing on evacuees. The need to get out growing desperate with life-sustaining supplies now scarce and infrastructure badly damaged. The civilian death toll closing in on 400, according to the U.N. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the House is exploring new legislation to further cripple Russia's economy. Still, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has become more critical of the West's response. Think about the sense of impunity of the invaders. They announced their planned atrocities. Why? Because there is no reaction, because there is silence, not a word, as if the Western leaders have dissolved. And there's supposed to be another round of peace talks today. It's unclear if anything will come out of them, especially seeing as the first two have failed. There is some criticism by the Ukrainian government for some of these evacuation routes that Russia says they're going to allow forward. But those routes lead to Russia and Belarus. Uh, for many Ukrainians, that is not where they want to go. Uh, so we will have to see as... Uh refugees are able to make their way safely out of Ukraine. Many of them, again, Rosanna, coming to places like here at Poland, a majority of these refugees now flooding over this border. Lauren, it looks busier than ever. We've been talking to you for the last week or so. It looks very busy there, and I guess we should point out mostly women and children because the men are not supposed to leave Ukraine, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So the uh, president, Ukrainian president, asked any man or anyone able to stay and fight to do so. So the mo most of the people behind me are women, children. They are trying to basically figure out where the next place they can go. We talked with one very emotional mother who came her three children. See, she said she would have stayed and fought, but one of her children has a disability, and she was thinking of their future. She said if they had stayed, she thinks they would be dead. Oh. Heartbreaking, our prayers and support to everybody there. Thank you so much, Lauren Blanchard. We appreciate it.